Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to introduce you with another beautiful software uh, which is related to software defined radio uh, which is known as uh, it's a very good software for analysis, signal analysis, interpretations and things like that. That software is known as Universal Radio Hacker. Uh, you can easily download this onto your Mac. Uh, just simply Google it and just simply type it. Uh, Universal Radio Hacker and you can download this. Once you download this on your MacBook just double click on it. It will run this software and I'll show you some key element of these software. So when you first open your Universal Radio Hacker this is what you would see. All right, This is what you would see. I had my Adlam Pluto SDR which was connected so I just disconnected it. All right. The first thing that you will see, you can actually do signal analysis, you can do signal interpretations, you can gen you can use this as a generator, you can use that as a simulator. So the first thing I'm going to do, go to file and go to spectrum analyzer and just simply go to uh, spectrum analyzer. Now on your devices, uh, just use a drop down man menu and you will find a lot of uh, supported hardware for your uh, URH software uh, which is AirSpy, AirSpy Mini, Blade RF, Hack RF, Pluto SDR, RTL SDR dongle but you can see there's no support for USD which is your USRPs so for example you can use your Pluto SDR or you can use your Hack RF or uh, you can use your RTL SDR dongle so these are the three three hardware devices which I have. Um, I'm gonna try to connect my Pluto SDR and I'll, I'll try to show you uh, how you can use this as a spectrum analyzer. Uh, the cool thing about this software is, uh, like for example, uh, when you're working with uh, uh, your garage door openers or things like that uses a modulation like ASK, on off keying, you can easily record your signal, analyze those signal and then you can retransmit those signals again using Universal Radio Hacker. You can also do it with other software as well. But what it will do, it will allow you to actually uh, analyze on off keying or FSK, uh, ASK or slash on off keying to actually look at your signal packets and you can see how does the code changes. Uh, that's why it's a very handy software. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to actually use it, uh, your Pluto SDR, uh, which I have right here, and, and use it in a spectrum analyzer mode. And once, I'll also make a tutorial on this that uh, using your car key fob, you can actually monitor the signal, record that signal, and try to play that signal to actually open your car up. So that is also, part of my tutorial too. So I'm just going to simply plug in and this will start firing up my Pluto SDR. So my Pluto SDR is connected and on your drop down menu right here, once you go to your Pluto SDR, just simply select Pluto SDR and you will start seeing and then hit a start button. All right, once you hit a start button, you will see, okay, start recognizing that yes, Pluto SDR is successfully connected. It's in a receiving mode and things like that. The bandwidth is automatically set to 10 megahertz, 10 megahertz, RF gain is about 50, 15. So everything looks good. Uh, you can also change the frequency here. So for example, if I want to look at a frequency at 2.4 gigahertz, so I can also see 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, I don't know, 0 megahertz. I can start seeing some signal as well. I can start seeing 2.45 gigahertz. I can start seeing some Wi-Fi signals at different frequencies and different components and at the same time you will also see a waterfall graph as well right here i can also look at some other spectrum like uh, i can also look at my gsm spectrum which is at about 935 also at 1800 as well but i want to look at it in terms of mega and i can start seeing the activities 
a lot of activity going on at 935 megahertz so uh, you can do that uh, you can use the universal radio hacker or you can stop this and then once you stop this uh, you can close this and go to file and record signal so you can also record the signal as well so for example I have selected this 935 megahertz I'm gonna hit start and it's gonna start recording the signal and start saving the signal so as you can clearly see So you can clearly see once you start recording it, I start recording the signal. Uh, you will not see anything here on your Y scale, but you would definitely see that this is recording. And this is how much of a data about it has recorded. So just hit stop. Once you hit stop, and you can hit save. Once it does it, let's just save it in onto my desktop. Let's just save the signal and just close this window. And then let's just wait for it. All right. So once you have uh, have your signal, you can also go to modulation. So basically three type of modulation is being supported for interpretation, ASK, FSK, PSK. Why ASK? Because ASK is commonly used in your key fobs, in your garage doors, and most of these consumer uh, wireless application uses ASK, which is quite easier to understand. That's why ASK is commonly used and and, and and that's the reason for it now you can also generate you can select this sorry uh, so you can play this you can also hit play play button and then you can start transmitting the signal as well so once you start transmitting it you would clearly see here that now your Pluto SDR is in transmitting mode and it's actually started transmitting this signal and it's going to transmit this infinitely so once this entire sample which you have recorded for let's say for several seconds it's going to start transmitting this signal again so start transmitting the signal again so the best application for this is like let's say you're testing your key fob you record the signal again you analyze that signal again and then you start transmitting it again to see if, if it's working properly or not and, and if things are working or not uh, so so it's just going to continuously playing this signal again and again and again and again so so i hope you like this small tutorial on 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 universal radio hacker software which i'm using with adlon pluto sdr to actually transmit and receive signal as well so if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.